How's it going, ladies and Bruce? It's up, Bobby Six Killer, and welcome to episode eight of um, Let's Play Dev Diaries. Today, Casey Joint. Um, this one's probably going to be another one I'm going to be bad at. It's the hacking game, um, but uh, it's kind of stealth base as well. Oh, okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Have they trapped you? I can help. Reply to this if you can hear me. User is typing message. Who are you? And how did you install this app on my phone? Dude, you haven't set a password. You want me to open that door for you? Is this a trick? I swear I'm not working with whoever locked you up in there. Deactivate your phone's remote access firewall and I can help you out. Fine. Whatever you're trying to pull, you can't make this any more humiliating. So this is a Trilby game as well, right? I believe this is a Trilby game. Oh, um, okay, I pinged the door, and it looks like they're running shield solutions. That's good. Is it? It's good because I happen to have a backdoor into shield packets cloud. Shield's packet cloud. I should be able to pull a few pass keys out of the local data stream. I know what all those words meant, but together, they made no sense. Let me just boot it up. All right. User is typing a message. So how exactly are you going to fish the keys out of the data river? Simple. All my possible inputs are mapped to different sectors of the data stream. By making the input, I'm telling the program to search for common passkey strings within that sector. And the interface tells me how close I am to a complete passkey. Sounds like a cold or warmer game based on randomly pressing buttons. It's a bit more complicated than that. So what do you have to do? Randomly press buttons. <laughs> Yes! Found a passkey! Now I can hack this door open. Don't think you need to hurry on my account. Why not collect a few passkeys first? They sound terribly useful. Okay. Are we good? Door. It's an electronic lock. I'll have to manually override the tumbler positioning. Ooh! Gonna randomly smash the keyboard again? Mashing the top and bottom rows will move the tumblers up and down. Or mashing the middle row will advance the pick. So it's only partly random. Okay, good. I feel like a hacker already. Going mash, 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 mash. Much obliged, mysterious telephone voice. I'll take my leave now. Have fun data streaming. Wait, I'm picking up a cell phone signal. There must be a guard in one of the nearby rooms. Yeah, it's probably the drone who locked me in here. Don't worry, I'm quite prepared for round two. Hang on, there's a better way. Let me hack into that security hub in the room you're in. The what? The thing on the network with the security and hub in the name? That one. I need to adjust my code's frequency to match that of the device. Don't tell me, it's achieved by randomly hitting the keyboard. Almost. This time the bar will move according to what side of the keyboard I hit. I'm in the security hub now. If I install monitoring software, I'll be able to see what the cameras, what ca all the cameras it controls are seeing. Will that take long? Not really. I just have to press the button that says monitor. Okay. Bingo. I'm seeing a room that shows up pink, which means the guard may patrol through here. But more importantly, it's only got one door. So what? If I install another monitor on that door, I can control who can open it. So if you wait until the guard is in that room, then monitor the door, you can trap him. Just like he trapped you. And you can hack the door even though I'm not in the same room. As long as I have eyes on it. Fascinating. Perhaps it's time I upgraded my phone. Ah, he left. 
Okay, the door's monitored. So now I can close it whenever. Just wait for him to go back in and... 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 Dirty crimes. Dirty crimes. He's not moving now. Get back in there, you jerk. Come on, dude. Dirty crimes. Oh my god, that did not work. I guess I locked it? There we go, now it's locked. I get ya. He's trapped now. Cathartic. I come onto basically anything with a network address and everything provides different benefits. If I monitor guards, if I monitor guards for example, that'll let me hack any camera the guard goes near. I can tell this is a subject you're passionate about. <laughs> Let's get you to the exit. Should be in the building's southeast corner. Shouldn't we rob the place first? Just, just saying. Let's get some keys. We have a serious lack of keys. Okay, we're good. We have keys again, now, uh... Guess we'll go out this door. Oh crap. What did I do? There's a safe! I have to hack the safe! I have no choice. Alright, did we rob the crap out of that? Good. Next door. Can escape now. Exit's open. I got a better idea. I'm damned if I'm going away empty handed after the trouble I've gone through. Stick those marvelous monitors of yours on every door and camera and then I can loot the place. Yeah, it's not as easy as that. I don't have much spare memory on this system. I can't run more than two monitors running at the same time. Oh. Could you at least get me into the room with the safe? So that room's rigged to an alarm. I know. I found out the hard way. But well, it looks like the alarm control panel's right next to you. Sure, I can hack it. Spiffing. Take your time. Sure. Phew, what an escape, right? I think we came out pretty well. We should do this again. Can I add my details to your contact list? Who are you, kid? Oh, sorry, Casey. Casey Joint. I put myself under C. Nice wordplay. Kid, are you serious about asking for a partnership? Sorry, I'm probably moving too fast. I'm actually kind of psyched right now. Listen, forget it. Forget this. Forget about me. But we did so well. You did well. I triggered an alarm and got beaten by a renter cop. I couldn't even lift a measly thousand out of a safe without help. I spent 20 years learning how to pick open any lock in 30 seconds. And now, half the bloody doors don't even have keyholes. I'm finished. You don't need me. Are you kidding? You were actually in there. You actually broke into an actual building. I didn't have the courage to go down the hall and knock on my neighbor's door. And he's been playing death metal at full volume since 10pm. I couldn't have done any of this tonight. Look, just think about it for a few minutes. Now that I've got some money, I need to check in with my supplier. Ooh. Dark web store. Can I get more memory for my computer? Sounds like we need it. Upgrade monitors, that's what we need. Oh, but this gives us more keys as well. Don't know if that's as important though. I'd rather upgrade that. I've thought about it. Okay, look, partnership... <laughs> partnership might have been too strong a word. I was just offering to be a helping hand for any future jobs, if you need one. No exclusive commitment or anything. So he's just looking for something casual right now. Friends with benefits, yeah. We can still see other cat burglars? I don't know any other cat burglars. That was a joke. I'm proposing we do a little trial run. I have a few leads on some places that can provide a nice, easy score. Are they all protected by shield solutions, right? That's what the stickers in the window said. Alright, here we go. Unguarded.
450 unguarded, 765 unguarded. Should we do that one? You said this would be an easy job. How easy is easy exactly? Getting cold feet? No, I'm just wondering how blind we want to be going in. We can buy intel from dark web brokers. Find out where the safe is, where the cameras are, things like that. And how much would that cost? Nothing up front, we just have to pledge them a percentage of the eventual score. Could we conceivably take the intel and not pay them? Dude. Dude. No. These guys dox for keeps. We good. I'm on the ground. Standing by to proceed. We should have a little talk about the concept of value. Okay. The value of things like money and intel can depend on a lot of things, including timing. Such things are more valuable if sold before the original owner knows that they have been stolen. Oh yeah, I understand that. You're saying that the value of the take will go up if we can avoid alerting anyone on the heist. Right, no alarms, no beaten up guards. Still be worth something though, right? Even if we make a mistake? Of course, just not as much. Alright, here we go. So we start with the red key hunt. We load up our key ring. There we go. Alright. So this door is open. Um, actually, should we monitor this door? Let's monitor this door. I quite like the key ring uh, mini game. It's quite clever. That camera saw you. Damn it, you better hack it quick. Can do. Luckily, I don't need pass keys to go to directly hack cameras and guards, isn't it? Indeed. Of course, opening the door back the way I came may be even quicker. Alright, we know that now. Let's open this one. What have we got in here? Oh, the alarm panel. Let's hack that shit. Had to go into the raw machine code for this one. I used... I needed to use locational key presses to guide my control byte onto the sector of the master byte. I prefer you don't master byte... I prefer if you master byte in your own time. <laughs> okay, disarmed. Alright, we need to hack this camera. Are we ready? You just need to turn a certain number of these sectors white. All the letter keys on the keyboard will affect a specific handful of sectors. Every time I hit them, it'll randomly change the sectors to black or white. Thanks, now I fully understand computer hacking. Disable. Okay, we're good, we're good. Can we monitor what's on the other side of doors? Because I thought we'd be able to, but I don't think we can. So asking for a four-digit code. Just have to cycle through all, po all possible combinations. Hope you're a fast typer. No. Alright, I'm not ready for that yet. We need keys first as well. We're out of keys again. Alright, good. Alright, we're gonna hit this camera. You ready? It's not camera 575, just in case. And just in case that's still there. Damn it! The alarm went off. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> Alarm panel. Okay. And we've got Samuel Slappy. Four digit passcode. Extract files. Alright, what's in here? Nothing. 
Okay, good. Oh, that's the way out as well. I guess we should hack this door over here. So we are getting to the point now where we're going to need more red keys again. We burn those red keys, man. Burn those red keys. Let's get some red keys. Alright, Jeffrey's computer. <laughs> Good old Jeffrey. I've exposed the runtime code. I can rewrite some of it to take control. Remember to press enter at the end of the line. That's about the extent of my computer knowledge. <laughs> Me too, homie. Not, not really though. Uh, shit. You have to copy it. Oh, okay. I just mash and then... Okay, that works. Works for me. Security hub. Aha! We got ourselves a safe up in there. Alright. I thought there might be other shit to steal here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, we got a laptop. Oh crap, we're out of red keys again. Dude. How are we burning through keys like this? Alright, we're making money. I'm drinking water. Alright, we got a camera. Get ready. Hang on. It's not camera 565, and it's not camera 575, and it's. Oh, is it camera 349? It is. So I can hack it before I go in there. This time. That makes shit a lot easier. And then we've got ourselves a safe. Safe 972. Okay. And I think we're done. Probably quicker just to go back the way we came, rather than unlocking all the doors and worrying about red keys and such. I assume this is the way out here. We did get caught once though. Nice, now we can get the um... We can upgrade monitors. Then maybe the keyring was more important now that we went into that one. I'm gonna go with keyring. Alright, what heists have we got? Size small, 1080. Small medium, 800. Small medium, 1440. That one's still unguarded though. We'll take the unguarded ones first. It means we only have to worry about cameras and crap. Good. Okay, let's uh, hack a door, I suppose. Good. Okay, that one has an alarm in it by the look of it, so we need to go this way. God almighty, there's so much happening in here. Alarm panel. Just, um... Why is there so many alarm panels? Okay, monitor. Alright. So those panels are specifically good to monitor. Can I monitor this as well? Okay, there's no point. Good. Uh, we need to do a red key hunt.
Seems to land on P a disproportionate amount of times, don't you think? Okay, this camera... We can hack now, right? Disable that. Now we hack the safe. This is this is fun, man. I really like this. This is a lot of fun. I've gotten completely absorbed in it, as you may have already noticed. Which is why I'm not talking about anything except just doing the game. Okay, we got another alarm in there. Okay, we got ourselves a laptop. Okay, we're gonna extract that, and we're gonna get some more red keys. Okay, we need to hack this camera over here. And then we need to hack this door. No, we don't even need to hack the door, we can just go in. Hack this alarm panel. And then the laptop. Extract files and... Have we hacked the alarm panel already? I don't even remember. I think we have. Yeah. So now, well, we must well check this room here. Because we know there's no guards. Yeah, laptop. More money. More money, Sonny. If you can hear me mashing on my keyboard, that just adds to the, uh, to the legitimacy of everything. This makes it sound even more realistic, you know? As I mash on my keyboard. Take that keyboard, this is what you get for murdering my mother. Okay, so we're going out the way we came in, are we? Looks to me like we're going out the way we came in. I feel like this is probably a game that has no end. We can just keep doing this. We're pretty much forever. It's just cool. I could just sit here and play this all day, to be honest. I think this casual arrangement of ours has a lot of potential. Really? But... I like to have a certain amount of an insight into my partner's motives. What is it you want, Casey Joint? Well, I was thinking, maybe we could try to access the Dark Knight's... Get access to Dark Knight's security. They're the other major security provider in Chap... Chapau City. We'll be able to break into a lot more buildings. Okay, so how do we do that? We'd have to break into Dark Knight's headquarters and extract hard drives from their computers. Right, so how do we get past Dark Knight's security before we have access to it? We don't have to. Dark Knight's HQ is protected by shield solutions. What? Why does a Dark Knight HQ use Dark Knight security? Never get off your never get high off your own supply? <laughs> so that's like a story mission. Okay, that's pretty huge. I'm gonna grab the monitors now. Well, we should you know, we only got time for like one more heist, realistically. Um, let's... Well, I mean, does it have an ending? I don't know. Let's jump into this one straight away. We can't pledge profits to to info brokers for this heist since we're not stealing money. So we'll have to pay up front for any intel if we want any. It's expensive, man. We'll go in blind. Okay, our objective this time is to extract data from three laptops. And remember, I can hack laptops over security cameras. You don't have to be in the room. Believe me, I remember. Alright, here we go. Alright, we'll start with the red key hunt. Okay, good. Floyd cell? I 
I see. Oh my god, I can hack everything from here. I might not even need to leave the room. As long as I keep following this guy. Wait for him to enter a room with a camera and then I'll hack it. Wait for him to enter this room and we'll hack that camera as well. Then we'll have all the cameras down. Alright, we got two now. Dude, we can scope everything from here. This is awesome. Come on, go into this room. I want to deal with this camera here. Here we go. I'm scared to leave my room though, because, uh... They are just everywhere, man. Alright, here we go. And they move quite quickly, too, when you consider. I know they go in this room. It's just rare. There we go. Alright. Shit. Are we okay? It'll be nice to be able to get into this room from there as well. Let's do some red key hunts. God, we got snapped out already. Okay. I guess we only have to deal with one now, which is nice. Which way is this guy going to go, though? Okay, good. Go this way. Shit, there's alarms everywhere, man. How do you get past all these alarms? They are literally everywhere. I guess I need to go up from the starting area. This way. Oh, that's alarmed as well. So I have to go through the alarm, basically. Ah, here we go. I knew I wouldn't have to do that. Just be smart, and then we're okay. Being smart's not my specialty, though, as you're probably aware. There's so many things to click on. That's what gets stressful, the amount of things you've got to monitor in the list at once. Shit. Which way is he going? Can you stop? That's alarmed again?
I thought we disabled that alarm. All right, here we go, here we go. Dude, this is stressful, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really enjoying this one. Really enjoying it. There should be a panel in here, yes. All right, here we go. He's coming. What's happening? Oh, I got no red keys. I can't get out. Son of a bitch. That was unnecessary. Getting caught there was unnecessary. Now I knocked out both guards. Damn it. That's everything we need. Let's pull you out. That's what she said. <laughs> Grody. Dude, that one was too hard. Man, I suck at this. That was fun though. We didn't make any money though, did we? Oh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. 600 bucks. So now we can hack Dark Knight's security as well. But you never answered my question. What do you want, Casey Joint? What are you in this for? I want to break into Shield Solutions. He's Dark Knight security. For the established reason. Why? That's who the big score is. They took a contract with the government last year. The kind that the public aren't supposed to know about. For that reason, the money can't be held in any kind of official or monitored way. It's virtually unsecured and sitting in two different, in two standard safes. And if it gets stolen, they can't go after the thieves without admitting they had it. How do you know about this? Because I'm the idiot who showed them how easy it would be to steal. Apparently, it was a sore spot for someone up high. I lost my job, my pension, my old, much nicer apartment. You used to work for them, didn't you? Why do you think I had backdoor access? Systems programmer, 10 years, right out of college. The best revenge is to live well, Casey. Fortunately, a large pile of money can help with that. <laughs> Very true. Very true. The big score. Are we doing that next, then? Oh, we got... Alright, alright. Let's just... I want to just keep farting around with the uh, other, like, side things as well, but, uh... You know, for the sake of uh, video... I'll probably play this in my own time later, though. For the sake of the video, let's do the big score. The info brokers are asking us to pay for in, up front for intel again. Might be because they think we're insane. Could be. Like I said, they've split the money across two safes. We need to find both. Too much to ask that they'll both be in the same room, I take it. Okay, so now we got a dark key hub as well. Okay, good. So we got some purple keys and we got some red keys. We need to find somebody to monitor, or something to monitor. Let's just wait for a minute, because things will change as someone gets, as people get close. There you go, Gordon's cell. We got a cell phone. That means we got ourselves a guard. Monitor. There he is. Now we just follow him and hack anything he comes into contact with, basically. What do you got, Gordon? Find me something. Camera. Crap, he already left the room. Okay, I see. Holy crap. Who's this one? One of these isn't Gordon. We need more monitoring. No monitors available. Shit. Uh, this cell. Monitor. Is 
Those are disabled. Okay, there's too many things on the screen at one time. It's messing with my head. That one. I should have uh, monitored it first. Need to find where the uh, security panels are. Aha! Here we go, security! So really we don't even need to leave this position for quite some time. We can just hang out here. Uh, we're probably going to need some dark keys. Okay, so we've got two of the alarms disabled. No, we've got alar one alarm disabled. We're following two guys. We've disabled a, a multitude of cameras, but there is other alarms, and I can't hack the safe without being in the room, right? For obvious reasons. There we go, that camera. There we go, disabled. Why don't we have a monitor on that one? Oh, this one here is monitored, that's why. Monitor. Ah, there we go. That's the other alarm panel. Disable that. And we don't need to monitor that one anymore. And all these cameras should be disabled, right? Alright, now we just need to get out there and not get caught. Alright, what do we got? Laptop. I was scared I was going to get caught there. Alright, let's uh, head back up here. Look how much shit is on my um list right there. Of You see how much is on with this this massive ass list? This is unreal. Alright, let's do a dark key hunt. Okay, good. Alright, now we need to hit two safes still. They make me nervous, I tell you. Alright, let's have a look. Keep an eye on these two guards. I don't want to get caught, because I want to get my bonus. Shit. Shit. Door, door, this door, next to me. Jesus H fucking Christ. Oh, we're gonna get caught again. We're tight's gonna get caught again. Jesus! Yep, that was inevitable. Oh, I've got no fucking keys again! 
It's so stressful. Because it takes like 14 years to navigate through the list of commands here. Um, that's what makes it so hard. By the time I get through the list, once you're in a big room, I'm going to be an old man by the time I'm actually, like an even older man by the time I'm at the point where I finish getting through a whole list like this. It's unreal. Well, I mean, it is an advantage that I can see the ones that are locked. If you know what I mean. Open. That's two safes cracked. Time to exfiltrate. Okay. I'm not really in a hurry, though. Considering all the dudes are dead now. Well, knocked out, not dead. We're a thief, not a murderer. God. Psycho. Um. <laughs> we do need to check these rooms, though. This is locked, and this is locked. It's this one. Aha, laptop. Free money, yo. <sighs> Navigate the list. Navigate that list. If anything, this is the thing that stresses me out about the game the most. I mean, I assume that it's an obvious choice to make it more difficult, you know. Makes sense, right? It's still very stressful and frustrating to find everything that you need uh, when you need it. If there was a camera in this room, he would have seen me. It would have seen me already while I'm trying to navigate this list. Oh, Jesus. So much money. No bonus, though. I suppose that's it, isn't it? What's it? We got away with the money. I got my pension back with interest. I feel fulfilled. Fulfilled? I wouldn't call $10,000 life fulfillment money. I know, it was just another heist for you. But getting back a shield was what was driving me. Now the anger's gone and I don't know what to do with my life. Good. Anger is never a good motivator. It's blinding. It's unfocused. And it makes you sloppy. You know what's a better motivation? Joy. The joy of theft. A little sprinkle of greed for taste. So you want to keep going. This town is a bloated pig with an infinite number of chops. And the more secure it thinks it is, the juicier those chops get. What? Stick with me, kid. Stick with me and I'll show you scores that'll make 10,000 look like leftover gristle. What do you think? I think it's time I bought a larger motherboard. Nice. We actually finished it. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you can just keep doing random heists and stuff. That's fun. That is a really, really fun game. Stressful, difficult, but a lot of fun. Very fulfilling. Very rewarding. Like it. Like it a lot. One of my favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a long episode, by the way. Let me know which one has been your favorite so far. Still, we've got uh, one more to go that is released at the moment, which is Hold the Phone. That's one that I've been looking forward to as well, but you never know. Some of the ones that I thought I might not enjoy as much, I enjoyed more. And the ones I thought I might enjoy more, I haven't enjoyed as much. It's been quite surprising, to be honest, which is why I like when, uh, I like trying out random things, things that I'm not sure I might like, because you never know. You never know what you might like until someone puts it in front of you and says, fucking eat that. And you're like, I don't want to. And they're like, eat it. And then you eat it and you're like, this is fucking brilliant. <laughs> why have I not been eating this my whole life? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.